talk to you today about how to get better at absolutely anything that you want to get better at. Um, so have you ever wondered how some people or why some people are just really good at what they do? Oftentimes because they do or have done a few things differently, sometimes consistently. Um, but I'm going to talk about three things on how you can get better at anything you want to get better at. Um, my name is Liz Medley. For those of you that do not know me, I've been an online entrepreneur since 2014. Prior to that, I owned a salon and I loved what I did, but I got to the point where I was so sick and tired of missing out on the people and the things that meant the most to me in life. So I knew I had to find something different where I could still help people um, feel good. As an end result, I ended up stumbling across a home-based business and here I am teaching entrepreneurs how to build a freaking awesome business, a cool life, and to be able to show up online with confidence. Um, say hello as you hop on. Let me know where you are watching this from. We have viewers from all across the world and so I always love to see uh, where you are viewing from. Every episode that I do, I give away the written show notes as a gift to you. Sometimes I talk a lot, sometimes I mumble. Uh, sometimes you're watching without a pen and paper handy. And so this gives you the opportunity to uh, recap on what we talked about. If you want the written version of this, just comment two words below. Liz List, L-I-Z space L-I-S-T. Go ahead and drop that below. Let's make sure Lulu Bot is aware and uh, she will send you over the written version of this. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I see Jamie is in the house. What is going on? Thanks for joining. Uh, if you're a part of Messy Buns in Business, I want to know if you're on here. Drop hashtag MBB below. If you are an affiliate with Pretty Social, I want to see that you are on here. Drop Pretty Social in the comments. Share this um, to anyone that you might think that uh, will find value in this. This could be somebody who is maybe in college, just starting a new skill or a trade, someone who's starting a business. This training is going to work for um, a lot of different people. So welcome, hello, super happy that you are here and let's knock this out. All right, so again, Liz List will get you the written version of this show. All right, so how to get better at anything. The first thing is why do you want to be better? Why do you want to be better? Understand why is the first step to getting better at anything. Like, Why do you want to be better? Do you want to get results, the same results in less time? Maybe you're not getting the results that you want or that, that you desire. Um, do you want to master something so that you can teach or mentor others to get better at it? Uh, maybe, maybe you're trying to prove a point. Maybe you want to get good at something to prove a point. Um, maybe because someone else thinks that you should be better at it is maybe why you want to get better. But why do you want to get better at that thing? Be sure, listen, be sure your why is something that is going to empower you, not drain you. Okay. That's really, really, really important when um, wanting to get be, be better at something. You have to make sure that it's charging you and fueling you and keeping you excited and moving and going um, because you're going to need that when it gets hard and you get stuck and you feel like, ah, oh, I'm never going to get better at this. You need to keep that fire and inspiration and stay empowered, okay, uh, to keep pushing you through. So one of my uh, coaching clients wanted to become better at sales. Uh, she had started an online business, and she wanted to feel more confident and confident in sales so she could cut out working overtime and weekends in her full-time career. So her why she wants to get better was very clear because she wants to be better at sales so she can stop working weekends and nights in the overtime, right? So that's why she wanted to get better at sales. So it's not anything deep or crazy. You know, it's not a why that makes you cry. It's a just a very, very clear picture on why you truly want to get better. Does that make sense? If that makes sense, drop an emoji and say, that makes sense. Like, I need to know that you're picking up what I am throwing down, okay? All right. Oh, I see some pretty social girls on here and some MBB. If you want to be a part of Messy Buns in Business, it is a really cool community online on Facebook. 
And um, after this is over, just type in Messy Buns in Business, uh, request to join, answer the questions, and you uh, will get you added to there. It's a really fun community where uh, entrepreneurs just toss their hair up, share ideas, cuss, and have fun. It's a really fun um, community. So, um, all right, here we go. Let's go on to number two at um, two, the second tip on how to get better at anything. And um, this is finding people doing what you want to do. So get together with them, observe them, ask for their guidance. Uh, if they seem untouchable or maybe it's an online persona or um, someone you seem, that seems to be untouchable, go to their website, go to their YouTube channel, go to their Facebook page, um, observe them, study them, uh, check out who they go to, find out who they go to for advice. Who are they studying? Who are they learning from? Um, and take time to really reflect on what they're doing um, so you can start doing that also. Uh, many of my mentors I've never met in person. I listen to their podcasts. I read their books. And I've learned so, so much from them without ever meeting them and actually without ever reaching out to them. Um, I actively look for something that they're doing, things that they're saying, things that they're not doing um, that would be a learning opportunity for me. And so this is a great, great way to get better at anything. All right. Even the greatest people have coaches. Think of Tiger Woods, greatest golfer, one of the most amazing athletes. He even has a coach. He even has mentors. Okay. So uh, find people doing that what you want to do and study them and observe them, all right? Um, the third way to get better at anything is take away rather than adding. You may feel like you have to do something new or something in, in addition to what you're already doing to get better. Consider what you might be able to cut out. Consider what you might be able to stop doing rather than adding more to your plate. If I do this, and if I do this, and if I do this, well, maybe you just need to stop for a moment and stop doing this and stop doing that. You know, consider the steps and the obstacles and the distractions and the interruptions and bad habits. Consider what you can stop, reduce, or eliminate altogether, okay? Um, I oftentimes see in sales, uh, people that I coach, they're saying too much. So in sales, they're talking way too much and they're talking customers out of the sale. So oftentimes I teach to say a lot less, you know, take away what you're doing, not adding more to do. Does that make sense? If that makes sense, I need some fire emojis. So you guys, I, I want to make sure that that's clear. So instead of what else can I do? What else can I do? What else can I do? What can you change? What can you eliminate? What can you stop doing to get you farther ahead? Okay. And to get better at this, um, my uh, coaching client, for, for her to get better at this, every time she, for example, she didn't hear back from a potential customer, they didn't call her back or they left her on red in Facebook Messenger. She was um, building online and belly to belly. Um, she would say, out loud to herself, stop making up stories. Cause she was making up the story that they weren't responding because it was like some personal thing. Like they weren't responding to me because they weren't interested in what I had. They're not responding cause they, you know, they weren't interested, which is not true. So she was making up the story that they weren't interested in reality. They're just busy and she was catching them at bad times. So every time that she got into the spot, she would say out loud, stop making up stories. So that's that's not true and you'd stop making up stories and that helped her uh, continue to go on her sales journey and grow and to get better and it was a really good um, exercise for her and it might be a good exercise for you uh, and then the fourth and last oh gosh I can feel a sneeze coming on if you're watching this also on YouTube 
Um, the written version of this is in the description description of the video. If you're on Facebook and you want the written version of this, just say Liz List and Lulu Bot will get that to you, okay? Um, so the fourth one is practice what you've learned. Be consistent, be persistent, but you have to practice, 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 practice. Top for performers, no matter what area of expertise or what area they are in, they have a very similar practice regimen. Sometimes it's brief, but intense. They're laser focused. They practice daily and very regularly. They set aside time to practice. In business, oftentimes we're practicing on real life humans, on people. You're never gonna run out of people to practice on and to get, you know, to work on your skills. And, oh, I think if I stop doing this, maybe they won't always respond like that. If you're always getting the same response, if you're in sales, you're always getting the same response, you're walking yourself into that corner. So what can you stop doing or stop saying to prevent you from putting your back into that corner? So um, learn something, try it out. Practice something, and then look at the results. Look where you can meet, uh, change or pivot or adjust, right? Um, but practice, practice, practice. And look at the results and look at the gain you've had. Don't look at how much further you have to go, but look how far you've came. So, so celebrate that gain. Um, and the thing is, anything that you want to be great at, you really, you can. You can be great at anything that you want. You can get better at anything. It's true, you can. Anything that you want to accomplish, you can. I promise to you, everything is figure outable. It is. And listen, that's all I got for you. I'll see you next Tuesday. I'm Liz Medley. I believe in you, and my wish is for you to believe in yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.